Hello everyone, it's me Tabo and welcome to another episode of Coding for Superheroes. This is most likely my last devlog on this project. This project has taken on many faces. I've gone back and forth developing two or three versions of it and I think it's time to lay to rest now. Most of you that have seen my last episode can remember that I was working on MOJS. But once more I decided to go with the first version because MOJS was overkill. There was a lot that I had to set up and I could not do that for each and every enemy vehicle in the scene which would ultimately be many with the increasing difficulty of the levels. I saw a tutorial that made me reconsider using Box 3 for collisions because they seemed to have a different approach which resulted in me changing the movement of the tank. The original game that inspired this whole experiment did not deal with rotation so I just decided to run with that style because it kind of seemed to make sense, you know, with the new approach that I was taking. For a while it was cool, but then it turned out to be just another stumbling block because the method I used was based on a 2D example I had done some time ago. It just didn't look right and it was doing funny things like sliding through other collision objects. Among other things, I decided it would be a good idea to use arrays to design my levels so I can just place objects in the 3D scene using numbers and the index would determine the position. That part worked well at least. I found another tutorial which was similar to my project. I looked specifically at how they manage collisions because that's the main thing that I was interested in. I took that method, I modified it to suit my game since I was using Math OBB module instead of Box 3's bounding sphere. I used it for the player and had to improvise when it came to the enemy because the movement of the vehicle had to be autonomous, meaning avoiding collisions on its own. I came up with a solution where the enemy vehicle would make random rotations and proceed in the facing direction if it was free of collisions. It worked but had its flaws. Sometimes I would get stuck between collisions because it's just making random decisions but not intelligently. This was one of the big challenges but overall the whole project has been a very big learning process for me. A whole lot has been learned, creating smoke explosion and wall shatter effect was gratifying i got to play around more with instanced meshes and used madcaps for different effects i want to revise everything that i've learned i have so many ideas of where i want to go with this game whether i will develop it as a real game or not is still open my original intent was just to create a tutorial from this experience please let me know in the comment section if there's any interest in this topic i will decide based on your feedback I look forward to creating something different, maybe more artistic. Overall, it has been one hell of a ride. Thanks for tagging along. Until the next one, love and peace, I'm out.